Hello everyone. Today, we're gonna figure out how to reprogram a BCM without using Focus. So in 2017, Ford had issued a recall for the 2013, 2014's Ford Focus and Ford Focus ST because if you pressed the hood last latch release button one time, it would open and some people were having it open while you moved. So they changed it so you had to press it twice. Now the issue with this is if I try and load focus, it doesn't let me because of the BCM update. So I'll click read BCM. It will get to 1% and then give me an error saying can't enter security into ECU. Everything boots up. So this has been an issue for a lot of people. Now I think I may have finally figured it out using Forescan. So what I will need to do, disconnect my ELM cable, reconnect it. Now I do have a modified ELM cable for medium speed. Right now it's in high speed. There's medium speed. I switch it over to high speed. So what you will need to do, make sure your ignition is on. This will only work with the extended license. So if you haven't gotten the extended license, you will need to go to the four scan forms and click on it. Make sure you are a registered user. It'll give you about anywhere from tw two minutes to 24 hours to get accepted. If you don't get accepted, try another email. <clears throat> so it gives me this little warning here. I'm gonna go ahead and just ignore that. Now, this is how I got it to work. So normally I do have my Ford Focus entered in on here so it saves the file, but I will do this as new for demonstration purposes. So I will hit no on here. Now this is how I got it to work for the 2013 and 2014. Now my vehicle is a 2013 Ford Focus ST, but if I click on 2013, hit okay, mine's a Sync 1, because it is the ST1 of the class seats, nothing special. It's gonna go ahead and read the BCM. <clears throat> Give it a couple minutes. You can see down here, freaking out a bit. Now it gives me a questionnaire that says, does your ELM cable have an adapter for high speed and medium speed? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to medium speed. Hit yes, hit okay, and now it's gonna go ahead and read the PCM and instrument cluster because those operate on medium speed, whereas the BCM is operated on high speed. So I'm gonna go ahead, ahead and hit okay, or hit yes. Now all is good. Let me go ahead and switch this back to high speed. Now we come down here to this little configuration and programming section. Now normally, if you know how to read hexadecimal coding, you can go ahead and change it. So you'll hit the as-built format, <clears throat> hit okay. We changed it over to high speed, so we're good to hit okay. That gives you this little warning here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now, if you know anything about hexadecimal coding, you can change some of the, the uh, values in here and it will change whatever the BCM is coded to do with that particular value. I don't know anything about hexadecimal coding, so I am not going to mess with this. So I'll go back up to configuration and programming. Now you can click on body control module and configuration. That should work, right? But it doesn't give you any sort of programming ability. So this is how I got it to work. So I'm gonna come back up here. I'm going to disconnect. Oops, sorry, I have to come back here. Make sure you hit stop whenever you leave the configuration and programming section. Just hit stop, that way nothing gets messed up. I come over here and disconnect from my BCM and ECU. The ignition is still on, nothing's been changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect a vehicle. Now it's gonna give me a, a warning saying adapter is not 
optimize for maximum performance. I don't really care about that. We're gonna go through step one again. Now this is how I got it to work. I hit no. I set mine as a 2014. Now keep in mind, my focus is a 2013. I hit sync two, because I figured, hey, maybe that'll work. Now it's gonna go ahead and read everything in the BCM, PCM, and instrument cluster, cluster past, or instrument cluster. <laughs> It's going to ask me again to switch it over to medium speed. So I will come down here, switch that up to medium speed, and hit yes. Hit OK. And it's going to read everything in the instrument cl cluster as well as the PCM. It'll take just a minute here. Sweet. So you can see here it says. 2013, my 2014. Hit yes. Now we come down here again to configuration and programming. Go to configuration and programming. You're going to want to switch this back to high speed as it, the BCM operates on high speed. Now we have all of the same values as before, all of the same whatever you want to call these as before, except for one. This one that says body control, configuration, central configuration, main. Now you click play, make sure it's in high speed, hit okay. That gives you a little warning and hit okay. You're gonna get a warning on the da dash cluster. Everything's okay, it's not, it's just going through its uh, cycle because it's being red. See here it's reading blocks and then turn the ignition off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that ignition off and hit OK. Now here we have all of these parameters that we are able to change. And if we load up the focus software I'm just gonna put this as offline mode because I don't want it to disconnect the four scan software. We have all of these parameters that we can program and change. About 100 and, you know, 243 for my vehicle or what it's programmed to do. Now, if we go back to four scan, we have all of these programs or all of these configurations that we can change. Now for mine, I reprogrammed mine because I had the halogens before I bought the after or the OEM ST3 headlights that are projectors. Now you will come up here to normal or to mode rather and change it from normal to engineering one plus all editable. Now what that's going to allow you to do is you'll double click on this and then you have several different configurations that you can choose. If we go back to focus headlamp type which is what you would normally do prior to the BCM recall you have four different parameters that you can plug in here I have four different pro parameters that I can plug in so for mine I changed it from halogen to the GDL advanced front lighting system which is the HID so I hit OK So that's all I want to change right now. You can add global unlock and global close. You can turn off traction control, stability control, ABS permanently without any lights on the dash cluster, or the gauge cluster rather. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on without starting the engine. And I will hit right. Now before you do this, if this is your first time ever doing this, I do recommend that you hit save. Now this will save everything as it is currently with your particular vehicle. I recommend you save that file in a safe space where you're never gonna lose it. 
I've already done that, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit right. No changes, nothing to do. Okay, so let me change this back to halogen just for demonstration purposes. So I'll hit check and then I will hit right. And it says old value, GDL advanced front lighting system, new value, halogen headlamps. Hit okay, turn the ignition on, ignition is on, and hit okay. Now it's gonna go ahead and load. Okay, you hit okay on here, and then it's gonna freak out a little bit. It's fine, don't worry about it. Boom, we went ahead and just programmed the BCM. Now I'm gonna switch mine back to the GDL Advanced Front Lighting System because I do have the factory HIDs. I will hit right. It's gonna sit here and load. Hit okay. Warning, just because it is loading the BCM.